Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm starting off by carving out under my brows with the MAC Pro Wear Long Concealer in the shade NC20. I'm just going to be using this to sharpen and define my brows and also use it as an eye base just to make sure the colors go on nice and smoothly and blend out nice and also to cover up my discoloration and veins in my eyes. Then I'm just going to be setting my eyes with a neutral coloured setting powder or just a bone coloured eyeshadow, whatever you prefer or have on hand. I do this just to make sure that everything's set in place so it won't move and so the eyeshadows go on more smoothly because they won't go on too well if your base is wet. For my transition colour for my eyeshadow, I'm going to be getting the colour Edge from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. This is just a nice yellow tone and this is yeah just going to act as my transition color for all the colors to blend into. Now on a smaller tapered brush I'm just getting the shade New Wave which is just a bit of a darker more orangey yellow and I'm just going to be putting this a bit lower than the first color and blend it out with the first color. Every color that every new color that I put on I'm going to be blending it out with the color that I used before. And I'm just going to keep packing on that colour to build it up and intensify it. Now on a smaller definer brush, I'm just going to be getting the shade Pretzel from the Sports Girl Eyeshader Palette. And again, just putting it lower and then blending it out with the new wave colour that I used before it. Now on that same brush, I'm just going to be getting the shade Real Gar from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and just pack it all over my lid and into my crease. Now on an even smaller packing brush, I'm going to get a mixture of three shades from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. I'm getting the color colors amber, saffron and blazing and mixing them all together and just putting them again in my lower crease and then blending it out with the previous color. You get the gist. <laughs> Now again on an even smaller brush, I'm just going to be getting the shade Red Ochre from the Huda Beauty, I mean the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia and also a little bit of Udo from the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette. With this look it's really important to just keep blending it and make sure you can always add colour but you can never take it away so make sure you just add little bits of it at a time and then add more if you need and to always blend it out with the previous colour because that will keep the whole ombre effect that we have. Now on a small synthetic concealer brush I'm just going to be getting that same MAC concealer and just going to be cutting half my crease. I don't really know how to explain what I do here but you can see what I do. I just use my finger on the edges of this to make sure the concealer and the eyeshadow is all nice and blended nicely so there's not just a harsh line of concealer and eyeshadow. Now just getting this pigment from MAC called Grape on a small synthetic brush that is very much drowned in MAC Fix Plus. I'm just going to be putting this on my lid and this is going to be the first colour. Now just getting the shade Angelic from the Huda Beauty. I'm pretty sure it's in the Desert Dusk and the Rose Gold. I am like 100% sure it is. Let me just check. Yeah, it is. It's Angelic. So this is like my favorite eyeshadow color in the world. It is so beautiful and just so foiled. So I put Matte Fix Plus on my brush and then just put this on my brush obviously and put it over the great pigment. 
and again just blending out the edges of my eyeshadow into the other eyeshadow so it's all nice and blended. Just getting um, Red Ochre and Udu again and I'm just going to be fixing out the sides and on the top just so it looks a bit more sharp and there's a bit more depth and dimension to look. Now I'm just going to apply mascara to my lashes. This is an Essence Mascara. The label is actually rubbed off but I know it's like a pre-mascara for lashes but I wear it all the time. But this is literally the best drugstore mascara I've ever used in my life. It makes your lashes so long, so thick and so nice and I love this mascara. <laughs> So I'm just putting these lashes on from Mecca. I actually went out on the weekend and lost the box for these. So again, I don't know the name of these stories, but I will have it in the description box below. To start off on my face, I'm going to be using my MAC strobe cream and just putting this all over my face. I'm aware that the inner corner of my right eyelash isn't stuck on properly. I lost my good eyelash glue and I was just using really shitty drugstore glue so it would not stick that part so I'm sorry if that's annoying. For foundation I'm going to be using my Nars Sheer Glow foundation in the shade Punjab. I'm just going to be putting this on with a small synthetic brush and then just blending it in with my booty blender. For concealer, I'll be once again using my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20 and just putting that on with that same um, synthetic brush and just blending it in again with the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to be setting under my eyes and everywhere where I put the concealer with my MAC Sheer Press Powder in the shade NC25. Now I'm just going to be doing my lash line. Now everything that was on top except for the shimmery shades is going to go on bottom. So I'm going to work with first a smaller brush and then get smaller, and, I mean a bigger brush and get smaller and smaller the darker the color is. Now for inner corner highlight, I'm just gonna be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Primeva color from the Modern Renaissance palette. Now I'm getting my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer on a big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna be bronzing out my whole face to make me look a bit more bronze and so my contour has something to blend into. to contour those cheekbones to make my face look like it actually has a bit of shape and dimension to it. I'm going to be using the one and only Bula by Benefit on a Zoeva contour brush. Wow. <laughs> now going in with my all time favourite blush which is the Essence Beauty Four zero natural beauty blush. For highlight, I'm using nothing out of the ordinary, just the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit Gleam in the shade Bubbly. Just putting this all on my high points of my face. That's the finished look, guys. I just topped it off with a nice nude essence lip gloss. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Everything's sticking to my lip gloss. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I did this look, uh, well it looks similar 
on my Instagram quite a few months ago actually and I got heaps of requests to do it. Um, it's taken me a while to do it though, so sorry about that, but it is finally here. Um, also, sorry about me being a bit MIA on YouTube. I It is the summer... Whoa. It is the summer holidays at the moment and I have just been out and about. I don't think I've actually been... I've been home for about two weeks during my like eight week holiday. Um, so I've been out of the country heaps. Um, just yeah, traveling around Australia as well. And I haven't had my camera with me so I'm sorry that I haven't been able to get a video up in quite a bit actually so I'm sorry about that but I am back in civilization I'm back at my house with my camera and all my filming setups um, I start school again tomorrow so hopefully I'll be able to get back into the swing of things and get back into the old routine um so yeah that's about it I hope you guys enjoyed this look everything that I used will be in the description box below please leave a nice comment if well if you want to I guess <laughs> Please remember to subscribe and like this video and yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.